and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Yajex Moderator. I confess my love to the girl of my dreams while bawling my eyes out and giving her all the change in my pocket so she'll tell me she loves me back. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to our slash today I fucked up, where cheerful chaos pancake posted this. Today I fucked up by jumping into a lake in my bra and panties to save a man that turned out to be an elite military scuba diver in training. I'm couch surfing with my sister and her boyfriend. I work for him at the lakeside bar trying to pay for college. My state is open. And while I'm not thrilled, I need both the job and my scored sofa accommodations to make it work. To give them their space and myself a break from the doom scrolling, I take a run by the lake in the mornings. This lake is bomb ass and draws scuba divers to the flooded town at the bottom. Today, I was in my own head running when a dark mass floated to the surface 40 feet away. I was on the craggy side of the lake and this dude looked dead. D-E-A-D. Facing away from me, his head was tipped back, eyes closed, bobbing like a fish lure. No one else was around, so I thought he was quantum crazy out here scuba diving alone at the crack ass of dawn, giving himself the bends or some nonsense. Like a jackass, I didn't yell at him to check in. Instead, I towed off my shoes and stripped to my skivvies to save the imbecile. The movie trailer in my head had me taking three glorious steps and launching into the deep blue water. Black Widow style. Instead, my tender feet hit the sharp rocks and I contorted under the pain like a slinky as I uncoordinatedly pitched myself into the water, doing a side flop. I was also wearing my contacts, so I swam hard in his direction with my eyes closed. When I opened them, he was dead ass staring at me like I'd lost my ever loving mind. So I blurted, Are you okay? He removed the regulator and incredulously said, Yes? My brain blue screened while I tread water. The lake felt infinitely deep. Before I could terrify myself by hearing the Jaws theme song, I turned to get the hell out of there, yelling over my shoulder, I thought you needed saving, to explain my idiocy. As I pivoted, another dude cleared his throat from 30 feet away on the other side. I never heard a sound from him, so I freaked out failing and belting an ear-wounding scream at him. Both asshats laughed as a few more heads surfaced around us. I was surrounded by divers all wildly entertained by my ridiculous high-octane fuck-up. After pointing to me and the beach, the merman that was my original target cautiously swam towards me after I nodded and escorted me to the shore. The beach was much further than I had anticipated, so I was trying to low-key breathe hiding my need to suck all of the O2 from the air. Also, the comedy of the situation consumed me and I started to giggle. Finally, I joked, Dude, you were lucky you weren't actually dying because it would have taken everything I have to drag your sorry ass this far. He chuckled before offering me a toe. Hell no, not gonna happen. Even if I had to dog paddle, I wouldn't openly accept that defeat. He quietly mocked me the rest of the way to the shore. I'm a secret sap for it. They were cadets of recent graduates from a military college here for the summer. They had been training in pools and were doing some open water exercises. They had been out there at least part of the night. I'm sure I blew up whatever drill they were running. He's training for pre-dive school. And since I'm an expert Googler, I'm guessing that means combat diving. At the shore, I did my best to throw my shoulders back and march out of the water in my sports bra and undies in front of what I can only imagine are some pretty badass men. I did invite him and his clandestine crew for an absurdly overpriced beer at the bar tonight before shame jogging back into the woods for my clothes. Too long, I didn't read. I tried to save an injured diver, ended up crashing some kind of military training. Probably not serious in the comments says, well, as mummy, how did you and daddy meet conversations go? You've topped us all. Now you've just got to get him to put a ring on it. Good luck, OP. This next one was posted by Tapioca Cactus. Today I fucked up by thinking my laser hair removal nurse was complimenting my asshole. 
Obligatory, this happened a couple of days ago, but I've only just psychologically recovered from my utter embarrassment. So, after lockdown ended in my country, there's been a huge sale at my local laser hair removal clinic. And so I thought, fuck it, I might as well go for it. So I paid for my 10 visits and set off for the first one, a little nervous but excited for my new hairless body. Now, I decided it would be a great idea to get a full Brazilian all the way from the front to back. Pretty normal, right? The lovely nurse comes in and gives me a brief heads up, explain how it all works sort of thing. So she leaves the room, leaving me to strip down. She comes back in and decides that we're going to laser away the hair around my asshole first. All well and good night. So the instructions I'm given are, lay on your right side and use your left hand to pull your bum cheek. So here I am, laying on my side, hand pulling up my bum while this lady sticks a laser around my asshole. Now on my left hand, I wear this gorgeous silver ring with a bright blue gem. It was handmade by my best friend's boyfriend, so it's pretty unique. So this lady saw my gorgeous ring and decided to break the awkward silence with a that's a cute ring you <laughs> that's a cute ring you have there. And of course, I happened to forget that I was wearing the damn ring. It just made sense in my head that this nurse was complimenting the ring of my asshole. Yeah, I know. So, still on my side, I tell her, thank you. It'll be a lot nicer when it's hairless. Lol. Cute, awkward laugh, and then silence. Until I realised that she was not, in fact, talking about my bum. Finished the rest of the appointment without speaking and dashed out there as soon as possible. Still recovering. Too long, it didn't read. My laser hair removal lady complimented my ring on my finger while doing laser hair removal on my asshole. And I thought she was saying I had a cute asshole. Max244 down in the comments says, just get a refund at that point. Aka Thurder has this to say, please provide a reason. Tick as applicable. The service did not work for me. I broke up with my significant other and no longer prioritize a hairless asshole. General awkwardness. Specific awkwardness including the tech complimenting something and mistaking the compliment for your asshole. Pain slash discomfort. <laughs> Would you get a refund too? Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who cried while professing their love for the girl of their dreams? It was... A kid. I was a seven-year-old child confessing my love to my babysitter before she was leaving to an out-of-state university. Did you guess right? I didn't. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.